What's going on everybody, it's your favorite introvert here, and today we're going to cover everything you need to know about how to register your new Spectrum transmitter and update it to the latest firmware. I wanted to make a quick down and dirty video and try to make it under two minutes, so let's get into it. So we're going to start out by going to www.spectrumrc.com and create our account. If you haven't already created an account, we're going to do that now. If you have an account already, then bear with me for a second. Select the sign up button at the top of the left hand corner. Here you will fill out all the standard name, email address, and living situation. Once you've put in the information required, it will register your account and allow you to log in on the next page. Once registered, let's log back into our account and view the MySpectrum page. Now that we're in the MySpectrum page, for the first time, it will prompt us to register our product. You'll need to do this to receive the latest firmware updates for your transmitter. Horizon Hobby strongly encourages you to register your product using the online product registration tool so they can notify you when there are service bulletins out, new option parts or accessories, or updates available for your product. Once all your information is input into the boxes, select register. To get the serial number from your transmitter, you can connect your transmitter to your computer and log into the Spectrum Programmer on your PC. Here you can navigate to the software update page where you will find the serial number here. Let's leave this open because we're going to come right back to it for the firmware update. Now that we have the transmitter registered, let's make sure it has the latest firmware installed on the device. We'll go back into the My Spectrum page and select Download Updates. We're going to find the latest firmware update and click Download. Here I download it to my desktop. It's a simple process from here. We'll just drag and drop the update file to the file update box and let it do its thing. And just like that, you have successfully set up your account and registered your new transmitter. Congratulations and happy flying. I hope you found this video helpful. Give me a thumbs up if you liked the video. Leave a comment if you have a question and subscribe for more content. Thanks for watching this video. I'll see you next time.